This video is sponsored by CI Hub. Hi, this is David Blattner for Creative Pro Network, and I just have to share a little tip that I just learned. I love this. The question came up on the uh, Creative Pro forums, you're in InDesign, you're doing something like a joke book where uh, the first line of this text needs to be uh, just like that, and the next line down should be upside down. We wanna turn it upside down in order to make it, you know, not quite hidden, but harder to read, right? And so there's a number of ways you can do this, but I wanna share a trick uh, that Joao Carlos Pino wrote in uh, in the forum and it's so good that I have to share it with you. Uh, here's the trick. Make it a table. Don't try, you can't just turn a line of text upside down. Uh, you could anchor it, you could turn up the frame upside down, whatever, but check this out. Let's make this a table. I'm gonna select all this text to go to the table menu and choose convert text to table. And I will say convert this using the default settings there. So each paragraph is now in its own cell. Got it? Um, I also have a paragraph style here. And you can see that uh, if I, I just made this before, I just called it joke. And all this is going to do is apply a funny font to it. And uh, that's basically it. So uh, let me undo that because I'm not going to be applying the paragraph style manually to each of these. I'm going to use a cell style. So to find my cell styles, I'll go to the window menu, come down to styles, and then choose cell styles. Cell styles are a little bit weird uh, if you haven't used them before, but uh, you'll get the hang quickly here. I'm just gonna say create new cell style. And my new cell style, this one's going to be, uh, let's say called question. And it's going to be, uh, it's gonna automatically apply the joke style to it. That's one of the things you can do with a cell style. You can automatically apply a paragraph style. So I've done that. Um, I'm also going to apply some uh, some insets here, maybe one pica at the top and three pica below, or actually, let me turn that around. Uh, so a lot of space at the top, little space at the bottom here. I'm going to align all the text uh, in the center of the cell. That should be good. Uh, and that is, oh, I need to turn off those really silly lines. I'm just gonna set the color to none so I don't have that thick one point black stroke around it, all right? So let's click OK and we'll try it out. I'll place my cursor inside the first cell and click uh, question. And unfortunately I'm having this uh, screen redraw problem, but if I just wait for a moment, it catches up and that's the way it looks. I've got a bunch of text on the top. It applied the paragraph style. That looks pretty good, I like it. Uh, let's go ahead and do the second uh, cell down here, the answer to this uh, silly joke. Uh, I'm going to come back here and say, this one is gonna be a new cell style and I'm gonna call this answer. And this is based on the question. So I'm picking up all of the styling from the from the question and using the same thing here, uh, it's gonna apply the paragraph style and so on. Uh, but I wanna do one thing different here. Uh, I want to apply a text rotation. Check this out. I'm going to apply a text rotation of 180 degrees. That was the, the brilliant flash of insight uh, that Joao came up with, Joao Carlos came up with, uh, was you can flip uh, cells inside of a table upside down. So uh, let's check this out. Uh, I'll click OK, and we're going to just apply question here. And, oops, not question, answer, sorry, answer here. Boom, upside down. Look at that. We have our questions here and answers here upside down. Let's try some more. Um, I'll apply this one is going to be question. This one's going to be answer. I've run out of space here, so let's scroll down and make this a bit taller. There we go. You get the idea. We've got questions and answers, and when I go into preview mode, you can see that one point stroke is all gone, uh, so it works. I can flow this into any text story I want uh, because, of course, tables can flow from one page to another. That is the trick. We make a paragraph style. We make a couple of cell styles, one based on the other, and the question or the answer is flipped upside down. B brilliant solution to a tricky question. How are you going to flip those lines upside down? Love that. Thank you so much, Joao Carlos, for being a part of the Creative Pro community, and uh, we'll see you online. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel.
And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.